Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Let us uh, start this lecture with a thought process from great scientist Albert Einstein who says logic will get you from A to Z. Imagination will get you everywhere. This is a very profound statement. Uh, if you recall, I had uh, discussed about the creativity and creativity can only be materialized, can be manifested if you have imagination. In modern time, you people do not have time to have a wonderful imaginary imagination power. <coughs> so, uh, let us look at now what we had learnt in the last lecture. We basically initiated a discussion on the solid fuel combustion and we have looked at where solid fuel combustion can be utilized and as of now we are using it profusely in various applications like domestic application, space application, uh, power generation application and metal combustion and several other places. And uh, we also looked at what are the processes involved in the solid fuel combustion and we learned it is quite complex in nature and we divided the solid fuel combustion two kind. One is pyrolyzing solid fuel combustion and non pyrolyzing combustion. And uh, let us now look at little bit more about it and um, we will recall now overall processes of solid fuel combustion. And if you recall that uh, there is a uh, solid uh, fuel carbon we are considering. Now, we are considering non pyrolyzing combustion, where the solid fuel is not undergoing any pyrolysis uh, inside the uh, solid fuel. Uh, whatever it is happening on the surface and the transport of oxygen is taking place, because this is your ambient. So, therefore, oxygen is getting transport towards the fuel right from various region we have taken consider as a solid uh, carbon sphere right just to make it life simpler. And uh, therefore, the oxygen molecule will be transported towards the solid fuel. The other one other one will be there will be adsorption of oxygen molecule on the fuel surface because it will be adsorbed. And then once it is adsorbed particularly for pyrolyzing uh, fuel where uh, it will be uh, inside this one like if it is solid fuel right and this region oxygen already enter into that, there is oxygen and it will be reacting with the fuel surface right on the fuel surface and the reaction of oxygen and uh, other uh, like uh, gases like a carbon monoxide, it will be reacting with the fuel to form the products like uh, products of course, it can be several of them, but the final product will be carbon dioxide water. And then this desorption generated from the product from the fuel surface because this will be product gases which will be going these are the product gases which will be going out. And then uh, this will be basically transport products away from the fuel surfaces, it will be transported away from this, these are the gases which will be transported away, so that it may react with the 
oxidizer and then maybe flame is formed. If flame is not formed, it can be glowing will be taking place. So, uh, therefore, uh, there will be kind of uh, combustion which will be taking place. So, these are the processes which will be taking place basically uh, during the uh, solid fuel combustion what we have already discussed. And if it is a pyrolyzing one, then what will happen that uh, there will be also the pyrolyzing some gases will be going out and the flame is being formed and then uh, you will get. So, is solid fuel combustion kinetically control or diffusion control? So, if you remember the terminology kinetically control or diffusion control, uh, we have already uh, discussed about that. And kinetical control means basically where the chemical kinetics plays a very important role and not the diffusion. We know that in case of pre-mixed flame, where fuel and oxidizer are mixed beforehand, the kinetics uh, uh, plays a very important role. In other words, uh, the time required for chemical reaction to occur will be binding or the detecting factors for the combustion of the premix flame or premix combustion. So, therefore, the kinetic control chemical reactions very important, but whereas the diffusion control the chemical reaction is quite fast as compared to the mixing of fuel and oxidizer due to the diffusion. So, therefore, uh, that is thing, but question is whether a solid fuel combustion will be kinetically control or diffusion control. And in order to uh, talk about it, it depends on the above five factors what we have discussed, because these are the uh, factors which will be dictating or which will be telling us whether it is a kinetically control or the diffusionally control. So, in other words under what condition solid fuel combustion will be kinetically controlled. And if the particle size uh, is small and the gaseous flow around the particle is quite feeble. And the another condition is that the solid particle temperature should be low. If the particle size is small that means oxidizer and the fuel are already having more chance to come in contact and the flow is really not much. So, therefore, it is not affecting the solid surface. So, uh, of course, the temperature should be low, so that a gradient will be not much. And as a result, what will happen that uh, reaction of oxygen and other gases like carbon monoxide solid fuel will be much slower as compared to the adsorption oxygen molecule on the fuel surface. And the desorption of generated product from the fuel surface. That means, this is a very fast process. The slower process is your reaction. Therefore, it is kinetically controlled. And why it is occurring? Because of fact that the particle size is small and the velocity around the particle is not much. And of course, the, uh, the particle uh, temperature is quite small as compared to of course, the other cases where the diffuse and control combustion will be taking place. So, uh, let us uh, look at under what condition solid fuel combustion will be considered as a diffuse and control. In this case, the of course, the solid particle temperature uh, will be quite large and gaseous uh, flow around the particle is high as compared to kinetical control and particle size is large. Uh, so, that really under this condition the uh, what will happen the reaction is uh, between the oxygen and uh, with the solid fuel is quite faster as compared to the adsorption oxygen molecule on the surface of fuel surface and transporter products away from the 
uh, sorry desertion of generated product from the fuel surface. So, these are uh, basically uh, uh, the slow processes and that is will dictate as compared to the reaction between the solid fuel and the um, oxygen and other products. So, uh, therefore, under this condition it will be taking place. <coughs> that is uh, this kind of combustion is considered as a diffusion control. So, in kinetically control process the burning rates depends on temperature exponentially because the chemical kinetics dictate the burning rate of solid fuel because that is the governing uh, factors of uh, the uh, for controlling the burning of solid fuel uh, because the time required uh, for chemical kinetics is much larger as compared to the transport of oxygen into the solid uh, fuel. And if you look at the burning rate is basically changes drastically with the temperature change and this thing will occur only when the particle size is quite small and there is uh, very little amount of velocity around the particle surface. And keep in mind that in this uh, kinetical control if you consider this is your solid surface R I can say this R by R is equal to 1 and this is the place right. And this is your solid surface. And in this condition if you look at temperature is a little higher, but the it is changing uh, along with the radial direction, but the difference between the temperature at the solid surface and the at infinity or far away from the solution uh, not much. And similarly, if you look at oxygen concentration here for kinetically control at the solid surface, this corresponding to the solid surface. Uh, is a little low as compared to uh, the away from the solid surface, but however the difference is not much. In uh, case of a diffusion uh, kinetical uh, regime, in kinetic regime the burning rate does not depend on the particle size because the particle size are small and temperature is really not uh, very high. Uh, kind of thing. So, therefore, uh, it is not really depend on the particle size rather the burning rate depends on temperature exponentially. So, uh, the diffusion process depends on the particle size and also the flow around it. You can see that uh, whatever I have shown here the burning rate is basically changing with respect to temperature here in this and also the as the particle size gets reduced the burning rate uh, also gets change or rather increase in this case. And uh, so, therefore, the when the particle size is large burning rate is controlled by oxygen diffusion rate to the particles. And uh, of course, with the reduction in the particle size then the burning rate gets increased because more oxygen diffusion will be taking place and then uh, uh, says that the uh, increase in burning rate will be occurring. And of course, uh, with temperature it does change, uh, but that is not really much as compared to the uh, reduction of the particle size. So, uh, therefore, in diffusion regime the burning rate depends on strongly on the particle size weakly on the temperature as it is being indicated here. So, uh, if you look at the detailed structure of the diffusion control combustion of solid fuel you will see that oxygen level at uh, the solid surface is very higher the temperature at the solid surface is quite high and it changes with, with uh, drastically uh, as it is uh, uh, far away from the solid surface. Uh, unlike the kinetic control the temperature change uh, between the solid surface and infinity r by r tending towards infinity is really 
uh, very high in case of diffuse and controlled combustion. And oxygen level on the solid surface uh, for diffuse and controlled combustion is quite a bit low even some cases uh, that it becomes uh, almost 0 and then of course, it increases asymptotically uh, to the actual oxygen values which will be available in the ambient condition uh, or, or in the atmosphere if it is the combustion is occurring under open condition. So, uh, therefore, uh, you can see there is a drastic difference between the kinetic control combustion of solid fuel and diffuse and control of combustion of solid fuel. So, you should keep in mind that and um, keep in mind that the carbon and metal combustion are predominantly diffuse and control unless the particle size is quite small then maybe uh, you can get a uh, premix combustion, but which is very unlikely to occur. So, uh, let us look at uh, what really happens uh, considering a particle diffuse and combustion carbon depends on extra variable stoichiometry. Whatever you have discussed till now, there is a another variable which plays a very important role that is the fuel and oxygen ratio. At moderately hi high temperature as we have seen that the um, diffuse and control combustion of solid fuel occurs at a high temperature. Oxygen can diffuse to the carbon surface as I told here that oxygen will be diffusing into carbon surface right and react with the uh, to produce the carbon dioxide uh, as per the following reaction that is C. Uh, carbon 1 mole of carbon reacting with 1 mole of oxygen getting into carbon dioxide. And uh, if you look at uh, basically the stoichiometric the fuel oxygen ratio will be 12 by 32 right uh, if you take this re reaction 1. And as a result the, if the carbon dioxide is formed here then uh, it will be maximum here carbon dioxide and then it will be diffused to the atmosphere as a result like uh, it will be decreasing right along with that and this is r by r equal to 1 and that is your basically corresponding to this is the point and this corresponds to the uh, fuel surface at this point right. So, that is r is equal this is r and this is basically r by r equal to 1. And at this condition uh, the oxygen level is very quite low and sometimes it goes to the 0 values right or is a very low values and then it goes increases asymptotically to uh, of course, in this region it increases more, but afterwards it is asymptotically towards the uh, whatever condition in the ambient condition. And temperature surface will be high here at the surface and then it decreases along with the r direction. So, uh, if you look at that is uh, if oxygen diffused to the surface if the amount of oxygen diffused to the surface is quite small and at a high temperature then the carbon reacts with oxygen at its surface as for the following reaction uh, as I told that amount of oxygen which is getting into this surface is quite small and also it is at high temperature then what will happen that 2 moles of carbon will be reacting with 1 mole of oxygen getting into 2 moles of carbon monoxide. And uh, this is a different thing what happens instead of carbon dioxide is being formed earlier what we had learnt here the carbon monoxide will be formed that means at this surface the carbon monoxide gas will be formed and of course, the fuel oxygen ratio is 12 by 16. And uh, what uh, people have found out that particularly the Coffin who conducted several experiments about the carbon uh, sphere 
uh, at high temperature, he found that negligible amount of carbon dioxide, oxygen are present at the carbon surface, unlike what we had discussed uh, earlier. So, uh, and his data shows like this that if you look at Y is the mass fraction of carbon monoxide and the mass fraction of carbon monoxide decreases from the solid surface. This is your R by R equal to 1 and that is basically corresponding to uh, fuel surface. And it is and decreases this uh, mass fraction of carbon monoxide decreases and then it becomes a very small value at the in um, far away from the carbon uh, sphere. And uh, oxygen of course, will be very, very low it is almost uh, small quantities then it increases and attains the asymptotic values at far away from the carbon sphere. But there is a very interesting thing what is happening the carbon dioxide it goes on increases reach a peak value here in some uh, distance from the carbon sphere and then it uh, decreases and reaches asymptotic value far away from the carbon sphere. And so also the temperature temp from certain temperature at the carbon surface it increases have a peak values and decreases. So, this is a very peculiar values uh, peculiar uh, uh, data he got and then he hypothesized how does the combustion of a carbon takes place. So, he assumed that this is basically a flame surface weakly visible bluish flame and of course, the, the uh, cindering flame uh, you know which will be taking place that is the on the surface that is a different thing but this is having a higher temperature then what is say that the carbon monoxide which is being liberated at the surface of this carbon right and being transported to this region where it will be mixed with the oxygen because oxygen will be transported from outside to this one and then uh, what will happen it will be reacting with uh, the carbon monoxide and as a result this carbon dioxide is being formed and this carbon dioxide is transported towards the solid surface and also it will be transported towards the outside far away from the solid surface whenever it will be uh, coming in contact with the solid surface and reacted uh, with the carbon and as a result the carbon monoxide will be formed and this carbon monoxide again transported and then the flame weakly visible uh, flame uh, bluish flame bluish flame being formed uh, on this uh, uh, in this region little away from the solid surface. And this hypothesis is basically being confirmed by other researchers later on. So, uh, this is the way how the combustion takes place and it is quite complex. Now, we will have to look at basically the diffusional theory of a single carbon particle. We are not considering a pyrolyzing uh, solid rather we are considering a non pyrolyzing uh, solid fuel combustion considering the carbon which is a very simpler to handle. So, for that what we will do we will take this carbon sphere and I will take this as center and this in the r direction and then uh, this is your the radius of the carbon sphere. As I told earlier there will be some oxygen which will be considering uh, diffusing into this because of ambient it is under the quiescent atmosphere condition keep in mind that uh, we will be uh, analyzing this considering uh, making uh, several assumptions. First of all the we will assume the burning process is quasi steady. That means, whatever the uh, process is taking place is not changing with respect to time whenever you consider a certain amount of time. Uh, of course, the uh, time duration if we are considering small in that is not changing. However, 
the uh, this uh, carbon sphere gets consumed as it is burning take place as its burning takes place so therefore we are assume uh, actual process is not steady it is unsteady but however we are considering for certain time it should be steady and burning takes place at the surface of the carbon as i told it is a non pyrolyzing fuel solid fuel so therefore the burning will be taking place at the uh, at the surface of carbon in a quiescent and infinite ambient air this is basically ambient air which will be containing oxygen right and which is at uh, uh, far away in or is is in a quiescent atmosphere there is no motion no velocity will be there so uh, no interaction with other particle this is a single particle what we are considering therefore uh, it uh, there won't be an interaction but in keep in mind that in actual situation there will be a lot of interaction among the particles right here we are just considering to have an analysis as that we will understand what is happening there is a, a no uh, gravitational force is acting as a result the effect of natural convection is ignored which is not possible in uh, surface of earth but whenever you will go to uh, space or some kind of a situation or a, you can control experiment it can be possible so the, it is being done for to simplify the analysis burning is diffusion control uh, as uh, we had a discussion about it and constant thermodynamic properties keep in mind that in actual situation the properties of uh, gases do change with the temperature therefore it cannot be really considered as constant for to make the analysis practicable we will be using it uh, basically constant and the unity lewis number is uh, basically uh, that means le is equal to 1 what we are considering to make it way analysis simpler that means alpha thermal diffusivity is equal to basically mass diffusivity and uh, therefore that is again uh, another assumptions we are making and gaseous species do not enter into carbon it is not entering into carbon sphere as i told is a non pyrolyzing uh solid fuel combustion and no radiation heat transfer is taking place because uh, which is a case uh, occurs in nature and uh, so that uh, uh, the you know, analysis will be simpler and we will be assuming the gas to be ideal therefore we will be using ideal gas law so uh, in the next lecture we will be basically discussing about how to analyze by invoking various governing equation we'll stop over here and we'll continue this analysis in the next lecture thank you very much